Hey guys, so in the later video, I'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself in DaVinci Resolve 15, just like this. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so before I tell you how to edit this, let's show you how to actually film this in the first place. So first of all, the camera needs to be stable, which pretty much means film it on a tripod. And the next thing that you need to do is that you need to make sure that it's just one uh, continuous video um, of you doing the multiple activities, and that in between each activity you don't uh, stop recording and then start recording again. Now the reason for this is because um, if you go and keep on pressing and using your camera and touching your camera, um, you may actually move it by accident, like just slightly because that'll just make the video look worse. Now whilst you're doing the activities, you don't want it to cross over with any other one that you filmed previously, which pretty much means try not to cross the Y or X axis that often, because otherwise it'll make it much harder to edit. I will show you a way that you can edit it that way, but it's just gonna be much harder to do. And finally, make sure that your lighting is consistent because as you've seen today, and as you would see in the shots that I'm about to edit, um, the lighting isn't that consistent because of the way weather today it keeps on the sun keeps on going behind the clouds and then coming out and it keeps on changing the lighting so try and make sure that your lighting is very like similar and it's it doesn't change at all throughout the video because it can look a bit weird and th there is a way of going around it which I will show you but just try to make sure that there's no light and change in the video now you have the footage let's edit it in DaVinci Resolve 15 so let's get straight into it okay so we have our footage imported into DaVinci Resolve 15 so here we have the clip that we're going to edit. So first of all, you have me editing the intro of this video, and then halfway through the video, I move on to using my phone. So that's just, I'm not gonna mess around with any of the audio. Let's just import the video file of it. And that, the way you do that is just grab this little icon and drag it down so there's no, and then that means that there's no audio in it. First of all, let's just do a basic edit. Let's just cut out the first bit where I walk over to my desk. So I'm going to have it so this uh, clip of me cloning is going to be around 20 seconds long. So let's just go into the video around 20 seconds. So yeah, that there's 20 seconds. Cut it, and then you cut it, and then let's go on to the part where I'm at my bed. So around here, cut, pause. I'm going to cut out the bit in between that because it's only going to be 20 seconds long. And then let's add another 20 seconds onto this. So here we have two clips that I just cut up from one video that I made where I uh, did a little bit of editing and then I went on my phone. So we cut them up, so we have these two clips here. There's no, um, there's no like transition in between them or anything like that. Now, how do you clone yourself? How do you make this into like you cloning yourself? And pretty much the way you do that is just drag this, put it up here. And then as you can see, because the, um, because the video of me on my phone is above the video of me on the computer, you can't see me on the computer at all. So how do we edit this? Edit this. So first of all, I'm gonna go over the really simple way of uh, doing this, and that is pretty much just to go onto the inspector, select a clip, go onto the inspector, and then you just crop right. And as you can see, you can hear, as you can see me appearing here. Now because the lighting changed in this video, you have this really like annoying line that goes through it where it shows the the first part of the clip and then the second part of the clip where the lighting's different. So how do we get rid of this line? You just pretty much go down to the softness here and just move it up and it will get rid of the line for you. So it just, it makes, the transition in between both clips smoother. And there you have, that's just the really simple way. It is a rather simple thing. You just have to crop left or crop right, pretty much. But what happens if you have a more of an intricate shot where one of the characters moves around the frame and you can't just use it by um, cut, uh, cropping from left or right, and it has to be a bit more of a, uh, it's a bit more of an intricate shot. So here we have a bit more an intricate shot. We have me up here uh, on my phone again, and then we have me here pushing my watch on, and I move around a bit doing this. So the way that you do this is that you go onto the color tab, and then you need to uh, create a power window by going onto this little icon here, and then selecting one of these. Now I just put a square because it's probably gonna be the easiest. Here I'm just gonna place it on top of me. Make sure that if the if you move at all in the shot, it's kinda, it has space for that. So luckily in that shot, I don't move at all, which means that I can keep it rather close to me. Now the second step of this is like go onto the nodes uh, side of it and you right click, add alpha output, and then you draw the, the square to the circle and then you have me there. 
Okay, so this is the power window technique, uh, and as you can see, it has it over me, and it's perfectly fine, and it allows me to move, and it allows a bit more space for the other version of me. Look, you have me here, and it's just perfectly fine. Okay, guys, so that's the two ways that you're able to clone yourself in DaVinci Resolve 15. So I hope you found this video uh, useful. If you did, uh, click that like button. It really helps me out. And if you're new here and you like what you see, uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to reach 250 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can help me uh, to get, get to that goal, that would be very appreciated. But anyway, with that all said, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.